This is it. In this video, I'm going to give you my best best for week one of the 2024 NFL season. What's up, everybody? This is Kerry. I'm going to show you some very strong trends that I used last year. They were all successful. They were all profitable. And they've been profitable for the last three years in a row, 2021 to 2023. These are bets I've already made. This is August 25th. We have 10 days before the start of the NFL season. And it's definitely not too early to lock in these bets now. Let's get right to it. I'm going to describe these trends very quickly because I've talked about these in a previous video, uh, NFL week one trends. Underdogs that get at least six and a half points to cover the spread. This was two out of three last year in 2023. And in the last three years, it was eight out of 12. So it's very good hitting at 67%. Underdogs with four to six wins the previous season to cover the spread. They're 75% last year, or three out of four, 11 out of 16 in the last three years. This has been a very strong trend recently. And divisional underdogs that cover the spread, 62.5%, 5 out of 8 last year in 2023. We had 8 divisional games, 10 out of 16 in the last 3 years. And then finally, betting all unders for the totals. This went 13 out of 16 last year and 33 out of 48. Look at these percentages in yellow. Those are all very high. If you can find a trend that's at 55% or better, then you're being profitable. These are all over 60% and even in the 75% and above. So I feel really good about these trends and really good about these particular bets. So here they are. First one, dogs getting six and a half points. We're going to take the Cardinals plus six and a half at the Bills. The Patriots plus nine and a half at the Bengals. I know it's not easy to take these underdogs, the strong underdogs, but we find out in week one, typically that's just too many points to give to them. There's still a lot of rust on these teams. Uh, look at the Bengals down here. Jamar Chase has been holding out. Joe Burrow didn't play in that last game. Even though the Bengals are the better team, that doesn't mean they're going to beat the Patriots in week one by more than nine points. Now we have the Dogs with four to six wins in the previous season, and we see the Cardinals and the Patriots again. I'm not going to bet these twice. They just, they just appear in two different trends. The Titans plus four and a half at the Bears, and the Commanders plus three at the Buccaneers. Now the Giants here, I'm not picking this one because even though they're a dog in some sports books, they're actually the favorite in others, so I'm not going to um, place that bet. And then finally, the divisional dogs here, the Panthers plus four at the Saints, the Colts plus two at home against the Texans, and the Raiders plus three and a half at the Chargers. That's a total of seven spread bets. And then finally, betting all unders in week one, bet all the totals to go under in week one. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but what I showed you in my week one NFL trends video, there are a lot of unders in the last three years in the week one. And again, I believe it's because the teams are just not playing their starters as much. We have some rookie quarterbacks out there. They're going to get really a big surprise when it comes to the full speed regular season game. And some of these teams that have scored in the preseason have scored against the second, even third team squads. So I'm not real confident in teams scoring a lot of points in week one. That's why I'm going to bet all unders here. And again, this was 13 and three last year in 2023. So I'm going with it again. I went through all my different sports books accounts, found the best deals in terms of odds and picked the best ones I picked under on all 16 games. You had the seven spread bets, that's 23 best bets for week one. That's a lot of bets for the one week, but I believe very strongly in all these trends. We'll see what happens. As always, good luck, have fun, let's go.